Brawl Stars just started this event where they're giving everybody 100 star drops completely for free as long as we do this takedown thingy once again. We've pretty much always completed it, so I'm assuming that we'll complete it again. And you probably already know this, but the unluckiest players are going to be given 100 legendary ones, which won't max your account, but it will get you pretty far. I think the reason why they're comfortable doing this is because star drops like don't have that big of an impact but that doesn't matter free stuff is free stuff and 100 star drops is still 100 star drops so it's really good but at the end of the video they actually leaked a new hypercharge coming to the game i'm assuming this is going to be gene and i just put out a tweet asking you guys what you think gene's hypercharge will do i'm gonna wait for you guys to reply to this tweet and then at the end of the video i'll come back to this but we still have a lot more to go through so here's the example of somebody saying that gene or gray could be getting a hypercharge I think most people are assuming it's going to be Gene. Ash is assuming that Gene's hypercharge is going to home in and pull all three enemies in at the same time. I don't think that's going to be the case. That would be so broken. Free team wipe. There's no way they would add that. But something was actually recently posted that might actually be exactly what the Gene hypercharge does. This could be a complete shot in the dark, but hold on a second, all right? As you can see, the Gene hypercharge has three hands. Now, if we scroll down to Pineapple's Gene hypercharge concept, Watch this, he throws out a hand, it pulls people, two more hands come out and hold them in place. Listen, I'm not gonna say this is exactly what it's gonna be, but there are already three hands here. Like, it kind of makes sense. Maybe they'll make it visually different because this is a lot of clutter on the map, but still, being able to pull multiple people with one super if they're close to each other, and then the other hands holding them in place, like, it makes so much sense. The only other thing I can assume it would be, maybe with like Melody's new mechanic where she has three supers in one, Maybe it would just give three, Gene three different supers to use. That would also make a lot of sense, and it might be a lot more uh, balanced. But still, if this is what it is, just know that uh, Pineapple basically came up with this. I just wanted to show you guys this meme about the hypercharge releases. The first batch was boring. Second and third batch were hype AF. Fourth batch was like some of the worst ones in the game. I always do feel bad for hypercharges that look or feel super underwhelming. Like Sprout mains were probably waiting for such a long time to get this and now they finally got it and you can use it for sure. You can use it. And for bell players who can already aim well, this is changing nothing. And I just feel like Cole and Shelly's are really boring, but a lot of these are very cool in comparison, especially. All right, guys, they added Brock to Minecraft. Imagine they actually did like a collab between Brawl Stars and any other game where Brawl Stars enters a different game. I think that would be kind of sick. And whoever made this Brock skin, I'm assuming this is on Bedrock Edition, but it looks really nice, actually. Now, speaking of collabs, I think this was a Fortnite survey. And if you guys don't know what surveys are, basically Fortnite and other games like Brawl Stars put out surveys for people to fill out to see like what people commonly want. So if a lot of people voted for a Brawl Stars collab in Fortnite, then Fortnite might actually try to reach out to Brawl Stars to add some of their brawlers as skins in the game. So I don't know how to get access to these surveys, but I'm gonna sit here and hope that a ton of people vote Brawl Stars so then Fortnite really considers reaching out to them to get like Shelly or El Primo added to the game as a skin. I think that would be so awesome. Okay, going back to my tweet, let's see what people had to say. We have 21 comments and the first one is Tribe Gaming. Tribe Gaming says, tickle you with three hands. If we're going off of Pineapple's concept, this isn't too far-fetched. Panda says, riz me up. I feel like there's a lot of things that they could do with three different hands. Elite says it should save Clash Mini. If you guys didn't know, Clash Mini is getting killed, but Clash Mini has a very dedicated player base, very dedicated YouTubers who all really want the game to stay. And I don't think I've ever seen this kind of like backlash for Supercell deleting a game. And the fact that they're moving it over to Clash Royale feels a little odd, but I guess it's the least they could do if there's nothing that they can do about the game dying. But I have a feeling that like the Clash Mini game mode they add to Clash Royale is just gonna be like you preemptively place actual Clash Royale cards on a battlefield and then they just fight as if they were normally playing Clash Royale. With Clash Royale being a 10 year old engine, I don't see why it would be anything else. And I feel like players are gonna be really disappointed with that. Now we have an actual <laughs> suggestion. Three hands will spawn instead of one and maybe home in. Now I wonder if this would like target three different people or if like all three would go for one person for like a guaranteed hit. Gene's super after hitting the target pushes the two players that are next to the target that got hitted. I'm confused. Pull three brawlers at the same time. This is also in Pineapple's thing, but they have to be like touching each other for it to pull multiple people. So like maybe that could work. If it only pulls three people at the same time and it's only like one hand, I feel like that's gonna be pretty bad actually. But if it's like three different supers or three different hands that go in different directions and try to pull people, that could be cool. 
It might be broken. I guess it'll pull more enemies and stun them. It's pretty OP in some situations, but it does put Jean in an A tier. It's only OP if the team is within range. Do we even know what it does yet? <laughs> yeah, so we have more people suggesting things like homing hand, pulls all three brawlers at the same time. If Jean misses, the hand will keep following the opponent for five seconds. She's bigger super radius, three hands instead of one. If you pull one enemy, it pulls them all in. That would be so broken. Or it could be that he slows down the person you pull, and it could be take a percentage of the health when you pull, but there's already one that does damage. There's already like the push. I don't know. I don't know if it would really add anything that he already has. Sports dude is going crazy here, bro. Even after reading through everything, I'm still shooting in the dark, but it's going to be something like this, or it's going to be three different supers like the uh, melody thing where there's a number three above your super. Either that or this, because this includes three hands already. This was posted a while ago too. That is my theory, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I just found this on my timeline. I don't know what it is. Oh my god, the have fun button is such a meme. I love it. I wonder what they're actually going to do with the metrics they pull from this button. <laughs> I thought this was kind of funny. So, you know, in this event, how you need to get unlucky to get the grand prize of like 100 uh, legendaries. So, like, some people are probably going to get like maybe 80, 90 rare star drops, which will probably put them like near the limit that you need to get like the jackpot. Or maybe some players will get like 100 rares. That is entirely possible. I don't know the math behind that. But it is possible. So if anybody gets that unlucky, then GG, you're not getting the prize. Even if you get like probably 10 epics, you're not going to get the prize. And this is going to be the one day where some players get relatively lucky with their star drops. But then I saw this version, which is even better, because if you get a bunch of super rare star drops, you're still unlucky, but you're probably not unlucky enough to win the jackpot. So this is just a lose-lose situation. Guys, I need you to look at this cat. It's adorable. <laughs> what is he doing? Why aren't my cats crazy like this? I mean, they have their moments, but nothing like this. These cats are insane. When your cat is watching something out the window, there is like no way that you can distract them. Dude, he's stun locked. Wake up. My guy is actually lagging because of a bird. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I just saw this post from Next D Art. It's a uh, Caveman Angelo, which you could argue is a better version of Caveman Frank. Although I feel like any caveman skin can't look that incredible. Still, it's good art. I'm just scrolling through my timeline at this point, but this right here is exactly what every 10 year old is a god at. But doing it as an adult is actually impressive. <laughs> but like if a 10 year old was doing this, I would not be surprised. Dude, it's so fluid. This might just be a me thing, but when I was like 10 years old, anytime I found like a hallway or a doorway that was thin enough, I would kind of just like shuffle my way up to the top, but I wouldn't jump across like this. Like this is actually just Mario in real life. What a guy. <laughs> I've been seeing so many people hit masters who have never hit it before. So the ranks might be inflated or players are just getting better. But I feel like this is the season that I actually need to push so then I can reach masters and have it on my account for the rest of time. All right, well, I have nothing else to look at. So one last call out. Let me know what you think the gene hypercharge is going to do. It could be something completely different than what I'm expecting, but somebody has to get it right. So let me know your thoughts and maybe you'll be the one who gets it correct. Anyway, that's going to do it. Subscribe and I'll see you later. Goodbye.